Hello guys! In this video I would like to show how to take pretty pictures of planet Venus with a smartphone and the deep sky camera app for Android. My name is Michael Seeburger Weichselbaum and I'm the developer of the deep sky camera app. Well, you can use this video also for other planets like Jupiter, Saturn or Mars, but here we want to take a pretty picture of planet Venus. As you can see here, the Venus is in the center of the viewfinder of the app, but it's totally overexposed. The exposure time is not really correct and the image is totally blurry. How can we get a pretty picture of planet Venus? Well, the smartphone I have here is a Honor View 20 and the Honor View 20 is attached to a telescope uh, it's a Takahashi TOA 130 and the eyepiece is an APM Lund 3.5 millimeter. The smartphone is directly attached to the eyepiece and you can see here in the viewfinder the, um, uh, the planet Venus. But how can we get a better picture like this? Well, there are a couple of things you can do. First, the exposure time is too high. As you can see here, when I'm moving the slider, uh, the exposure time goes down, 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 down. And the range of the slider here can be changed. Please go to the settings first and please choose the second entry, preview exposure time. Here is the second entry selected, means that maximum exposure time is one second in the viewfinder. That's totally too much. So let's go down to the, th the fourth entry and tap on this, means that max exposure time is one one hundred second, but only for the viewfinder. So let's go back. Next thing is, please check the third option, Preview ISO, it's set to 800, that's totally too much. Please go to 50. That's the sensitivity of the sensor, it's, in fact it's a gain. And 50 is a really good value. And as you can see here, oh, Venus is, yeah, you can see it, but the picture is totally blurry. So I must refocus, but I don't focus with the right slider that's for focusing. Uh, I focus only at the telescope and, oops, uh, Venus is gone and here we are. Here's Venus again. Oops, this is gone. I go back. Here we are. So, excuse me guys, now I try to refocus and as you can see here, the picture becomes better and better. And here, wow, that's a really nice picture. I'm adjusting the exposure time a little bit, so this could be a good value. And you can see the face of the Venus and that's what we want to see. Okay, let's do a check. Uh, the focus is okay. I recenter a little bit. So That's uh, a little bit more. Whoops, too much, too much, too, oops, wrong direction, whoops. So here we are, okay. Leave it as it is. And we have a pretty nice picture of planet Venus. Of course, now we want to take a first test shot. Please pay attention the, to the fact that we have different settings for the images we want to take. 
uh, what you see here is the viewfinder. The viewfinder has its own settings and uh, this is totally different to other camera apps. So uh, on the bottom, uh, I, yeah, I leave it as a JPEG file. This is only a quick test. So next thing we, oops, we should change is the exposure time, 30 seconds. It's totally too much. So you have two options. First thing, please switch to preview means that the exposure time you've set to the viewfinder will be the exposure time um, for the pictures. Uh, it's a synchronization. And the second option you have is when you know the exposure time, you can select it here directly. So let's try one 200 seconds. ISO should be the same like the viewfinder. That's 50. And here interval time, five seconds, that's okay. Frames two, these are only test shots. Okay, one, two, three, go. So let's check. We have two pictures. Okay, here we are, so we are now ready, let's check by tapping on the icon here. Yep. You see here the list of the pictures you've taken and uh, new to version 1.5.0 you can sort it. I did a sort and the latest picture is at the top. So that's this one and wow, it's a really nice picture. You can see planet Venus, you can see the face of planet Venus. So let's go back and it's a good shutter speed. The exposure time one 200 seconds is totally enough. So now we want to take pretty pictures and I switch to raw. Why do I switch to raw? The thing is, I take two or three hundred pictures and I stack it later with programs like PIP, AutoStackart, Registax and Photoshop. These are the programs uh, you must currently use to process pretty pictures of planet Venus. So everything is fine. Let's, let's go back. Ooh. and everything is centered and one, two, three, go. The delay, as you can see, is really a nice thing because the telescope or um, the smartphone starts the pictures one second later or any other value you want. So that's really a nice thing. Um, okay, now the app runs. It takes uh, around 20 minutes to take all these pictures. Okay, come back later. Okay guys, here we are back and now we have pretty pictures of planet Venus. Let's check. So here are lots of pretty pictures. They are all in raw format called DNG and we can check one of the pictures. Uh, please be patient because loading a DNG file, a raw file, is a huge thing. The uh, files here on the Honor View 20 are about 95 megabytes per file. So here you see a picture of Venus we've taken and so it's pretty nice. Let's check another picture, one of the first one here. And let's wait again. And so here we are. Oh, it's a nice picture. And I think we have enough. Next step is you must stack all the pictures. Currently, there is no app in the Google Play Store or in any other app store for 
stacking the pictures. You must transfer the pictures to a PC, to a Windows computer, to a Linux machine or to a Mac computer and you must specific software to stack the images. You can use programs like PIP or AutoStackard and for post processing programs like uh, Registacks or Photoshop. Okay, but this is another video. Hope you like this video guys. Have fun with the Deep Sky camera for Android and see you later. Thank you guys. Bye bye.